Hello and welcome to Fierce Friday. My name is Stephanie Dawn. I'm the chair of the Million Mom Movement Council, and I'm deeply honored to be joined here by my fellow council members, Taz Ferreira, Carmela Velarde, Naeva Flory, and Jody Parker. And today is a special day where, where we're focused on health. We spell each Friday off. Um, one, one week is about health, the other week is about the business. And today is all about health. And I'm really excited to be welcome, welcoming my colleague, Alison Ellsbury, who's gonna be talking with us about body awareness and children and nutrition. So before we get into that presentation, I'd like to invite Carmela to read the Million Mom Movement Pledge. Hi, Carm. Hello, Stephanie, and hello, everyone. Happy Friday. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today in our Million Mom Call for Health. And this is such an important topic and connected to this important topic of body awareness with children. I'm gonna lead us to the pledge, which is our intentional mantra for our Million Mom Movement. And I have it, like I mentioned before on a Zoom, on my dining room table stand, really for anyone who comes to visit as a guest to know what my family follows as far as nutrition and clean eating, clean living. So when you go to our website in the Million Mom Movement, you can join us. If you've not yet already, please do. And you go to join here in the movement and that's, this is where you'll find it. So you can read along with me. I pledge to defend the health of myself and my family. I pledge to choose organic foods that are minimally processed and free from man-made ingredients. I pledge to read labels and educate myself on all aspects of clean living. I understand that my actions today will positively impact the health and environment of future generations. I'm committed to sharing this movement of many. I am the Million Mom Movement, and I hope that everyone feels really proud of themselves for getting here today. And there's so much content that we have that connects directly with this pledge. So um, this special guest of ours um, will go into her own practice and what she has to share, but please share onto your own uh, social media this pledge and let people know what you're all about. Because people don't know what you're about, the majority wins, that's 80% of the population does not clean live. And when you start to put that message out there through our own pledge and what you're a part of, you're part of a very bigger vehicle and just be proud of it. Pass the word. Thanks, Carmela. Yes, I was just saying this morning on Instagram that our voices is what we have. So let us raise our voices. Okay, I am uh, wanting to share a few things with you before we begin our um, our uh, presentation here. Uh, uh, so first things first, over the last several weeks, you know that we, um, we interviewed Henry Rollins from the Detox Project, and he gave us a call to action to be going into uh, Instagram and uh, checking out all the different brands that are on Instagram and connecting with them around the glyphosate in their products. So I just wanna highlight that for all of you. I mean, there's brand after brand, after brand, after brand in here. And if you haven't all um, uh, downloaded this PDF, I want you to do that today. <laughs> and if one of my fellow council members would be so kind as to put that link into the chat, I really appreciate it. If you're interested about raising your voice locally, you can use this as a teaching tool. If you start to gather fellow moms and dads and concerned citizens, you can, you can present from this, you can speak to this, you can do so much with, with um, this as a teaching tool. And then for the armchair activists, you can go to Instagram and you can just start commenting and posting on all these different brands, okay? So that's the first thing that I wanted to go over. For those of you who are new to the Million Mom Movement, I wanna highlight this book, The Toxin That Came to Dinner, all right? Written by our very own Dave Sandoval, founder and visionary of Purium Health Products. This is an eye-opener. This is an absolute game changer, this book. It actually brought me, the, the, the statistics that are in here brought me to tears at one of our conventions. I was so overwhelmed to witness how the bell curve of glyphosate use in the United States 
was was you know heading upwards side by side with serious diseases in the US and that the powers that be that could stop this are doing nothing because they're basically profiting off of us getting sick. Finally, I'm super excited to share that Carrie Gillum, the author of the Monsanto papers is coming to be with us on July 15th. I'm gonna be interviewing her. If you know about this book, if you know about Carrie Gillum, you want to be here on July 15th, okay? So if you don't like to read books, find it on Audible and listen to it, all right? I've just started it and I'm absolutely blown away. And we have the solution, you guys. We have the solution with Biomedic in regards to everything I've just been sharing about uh, glyphosate. So, okay, without further ado, I am so happy to bring my friend and my colleague, Alison Ellsbury to you today. I've known Alison for quite a while. Um, gosh, like five, six years, I think we met in my business community. And um, she's a special human. She lives on the island of Maui. She's the creator of Embodied Brilliance and Brilliant and Barefoot and is devoted to creating educational experiences that empower children to honor and nurture their body as sacred. As a former pediatric occupational therapist and craniosacral therapist, and as a student of pre and perinatal psychology, she is passionate about helping children feel at home in their body as a divine being, so they flourish with their gifts and express who they truly are. Allison is often lovingly referred to as a kid clairvoyant and a baby and child soul whisperer, helping to bridge the gap of communication and consciousness between awakened parents and this next generation of beautiful and brilliant souls so that love guides the way. Welcome Allison Ellsbury to Fierce Friday. Thank you, Stephanie. You have me in tears. <laughs> Reading that, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I should have brought my tissues. <laughs> We're so happy to have you. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. It's such a joy and a true pleasure and honor to be here. This is such a beautiful community. You know, just so much love here. You know, I can really, really feel that. So it already has my tears flowing because it's just such a beautiful opportunity to be able to share. Um, and I just want to give thanks to all of you council members and to everyone that's here and that's going to be listening in. Because this is a megawatt topic. And I say megawatt simply because it has a lot of light that wants to shine and a lot of truth that wants to be spoken, just like your children, right? So what I've done is created something very simple to speak with you about. It comes directly from my heart. And my intention is that it lands so peacefully and easily in your body so that you and your families really truly enjoy uh, what is shared here today and helps you live so much more lovingly and more fully being in your body than ever before. So I've got a beautiful slide presentation to share with you. And we're gonna talk about body awareness. We're gonna talk about nutrition, where those two things intersect how Perium is a solution for that. And then we're gonna be going into some superfood recipes and some food fun activities that you can all play with, with your kids. And they are for yourself too. And then um, I've left a lot of time and space for questions and comments and just to be able to open up this discussion for all of us in the community. Okay, sound good? All right. So here we go.
All right. So just give me a thumbs up, please, if you can see it. Yes, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> so body awareness and how nutrition supports a child's relationship to their body is what we're going to be dipping and diving into today. And the first thing I want to say before we flow right on in here is that this is a starting point. Body awareness and nutrition are both really big topics. And then putting them together, we've just kept it really simple. So there's always more where this came from. Okay, so let's start with what is body awareness? So when you hear those two words, body and awareness, what actually comes to mind or heart? You can type that in the chat if you want to, or you can just keep it to yourself or you can write it down, but just what comes to mind or heart for you when you hear those two words? So when I'm talking about body awareness, I'm actually really talking about the actual awareness of having a body, being aware of its shape and its form and how it moves and how it feels and how you feel in it. So it includes things like being aware of your fingers and toes where your nose is, you know, when you're hungry, how far to reach for that toy on the floor. It even includes things like your emotional intelligence. It includes things like how close or far away do I want to stand next to that person or that tree? So if you think of your body as being the space where sensations happen. It's where we actually get to know ourselves and learn how to love and trust who we are. And it's also, you could call it the temple or home for your heart and your soul. And it's actually the physical extension of your spiritual existence. So you can see how important the body is to the entire experience of being human. So this fun little picture was inspired by um, a, a child that I used to work with many years ago. And you, know, you might have heard the expression, we're stars in skin. So what this picture really is a reflection of is the light that you and your child are in physicality. So your light in form, and they love to have a clear connection to their light, to their information, to the truth of who they are. And the body is a vehicle that actually helps us do that. So the body, whoops, sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to move one of the bars at the top so I can actually be able to see the words on the screen. So the body is the avenue expre of expression for sharing our soul and our light. And it's really how we learn to express ourselves and relate to others. So when we're in the body, that's how relating happens. So you can see how important being aware of our body actually really is. Because everything that we do and that we be and we create in this world requires us to be in our body 
it's how our gifts flow through us and out into the world. And in all honesty, we would not be here without our physical form, right? So the natural design of our beloved body is brilliantly created to partner with the earth through our feet, which we'll be talking about here shortly. And it's designed to partner through the food that we eat. So you can see that a lot of things would influence body awareness. But for the purposes of what we're discussing here today, we're talking about one of those aspects, which is nutrition, because it plays a massive role in how clear of a connection we have to our body and how we're feeling in it. So the food that we eat, the nourishment we put in our body is what supports our life, our consciousness, our relationship to our body and its innate wisdom and miraculous ability to regenerate. And the other thing that food gifts us is our connection to nature and the divine. So if you remember nothing else from our time together today, then please remember this. Food form impacts bodily form. Food form impacts bodily form. So the form that food is in, the shape it takes, the color, the smell, the consciousness of it, the nutrient levels, everything about that food impacts how we feel on all levels, physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, and even psychically. It impacts every aspect of our being. So you could really say that what we choose to put in our body and particularly what we give to children to put into their body is literally shaping our future generation because food form impacts bodily form. So foods that have added sugar, that have chemicals, dyes, toxins, glyphosate, words we can't pronounce, forms we can't really recognize, how they impact a child's body is very significant. It dulls their senses, it dims their light, it influences their brain neural pathways and connectivity, their memory and concentration, their energy levels and mood, their sleep cycles and rhythms, their gut health and elimination, their hormone development, their motor skills, their fine motor skills, their gross motor skills, their speech and language development, the way they process sensory information. It even impacts their socialization and their relationships, their intuition and their clarity their expression of their gifts and abilities, their self-esteem and confidence. So the list can go on and on, right? What's important here to know is that it impacts so many things in the body that really influence how clear and conscious a child feels about having a relationship with their body and the people around them. So I'm using some words that kids often describe what it feels like when they eat foods that don't feel so body friendly. And they will often describe it as fuzzy buzzy or foggy groggy. 
it makes it harder to understand the language of sensation, the communication and the messages that the body is giving to a child and to all of us. And for them to make sense of what they're feeling in their body and how they're feeling in it when they're eating food that has um, things that influence the consciousness of it, that influence the form that it takes in their own system and being. It's hard to feel at home in a body that's feeling slowly poisoned, right? And it's hard to feel at home in a body that's actually feeling very disconnected from its original source of consciousness. It doesn't feel so good to be in that physical body. And a lot of kids will describe it as, um, I've heard them say like static on a radio station that they just can't get away from or that they don't know how to tune in and out of. So pure food that is connected to nature in its whole form actually supports the entire consciousness of your child's physical form. So again, um, food form impacts bodily form. So whole foods equals whole body nutrition. And by whole, I'm referring to the full radiance of what's in the food, the full capacity at which it can give to the body. So foods that are pure and clean and organic and natural and real, and what we would even consider innocent and from nature, creates a body that feels its best because it's directly connected to the earth and it's directly connected to source, God, creator, light, whatever your chosen term or word is there. So if we think of the body as that bridge between light and the earth and where your child's consciousness gets to live when they're eating food that is directly connected to nature, they feel that difference and that vitality in their body. So when they're actually eating foods that reflect their true pure nature, it supports the relationship with their body because that's what being in a body is. Essence and form, light and form. So eat a reflection of that. Eat and drink what feels like light what feels like it's loving and nourishing and kind and friendly to the body. Because pure whole food that is connected to the earth's elements nourishes the elements that are within your child's body and their cells. It actually activates the latent healing capacity and the DNA strands that are in their cells that want to be expressing their form of what health in a body looks like. So when your child eats something directly from nature or food in its purest form, there's something quite magical and miraculous that actually really happens. It tells them that who they are in their pure and authentic form is enough. It's really powerful, right? It tells them that they're perfect without needing to fix, change, hide, or dim their light, or hold back who they truly are. This consciousness imprints upon your child's well being, and it completely 100% nurtures their self worth, 
and their self-confidence. And so we could take it a step further and actually even call this sacred nutrition. There is a beautiful word in the Hawaiian culture that is malama, and it means to care for, to cherish and protect. There is a deep connection between our body and the land that we live upon and care for. The actual land, grass, sand, river, water, whatever elements that our feet touch, there is a direct connection to our heart, to our soul, to our entire being with that. And we naturally give back to the land by giving to our body. The health of your body is caring for the land. A body that feels its best, that is thriving, helps the earth thrive and flourish too. So there is a beautiful reciprocity, a giving and a receiving that naturally happens. This is how our body is created to live on earth, to eat food that nurtures every aspect of our being so that we feel fully connected, not just to the truth of who we are, but to what is under our feet and to the light that is in, near, and around us with every single breath that we take. So, you've probably heard about the carbon footprint, the carbon food print, but have you heard of your child's footprint of light? So it's not just children who have a footprint of light. All of us have a footprint of light. And it is a distinct signature of light that naturally connects us with the earth, soul to soul, so that we're feeling supported being in our body. So it's naturally encoded on the bottom of our feet, just like how we have fingerprints and toe prints. We have this beautiful energetic imprint of light that our feet naturally have upon communicating with the earth. And you can think about it as a footprint of health um, that supports your child's relationship with nature. And when they're feeling connected to nature, they're feeling more connected to their own true nature. And then through the connection with the land that they're living on, and through having a body that is thriving and feeling healthy, they feel more connected to the land. The land feels more connected to them. And there's this beautiful process that happens with their health print, their health blueprint being restored, which restores the earth's healthy, vibrant, abundant, light-filled blueprint as well. So you can really see how important nutrition and body awareness actually really weave together and become this element of living each and every day as the truth of actually who you really are in your body. And so it's why a company like Purium is a beautiful resource, a solution, and a source of deep nourishment that can really support your entire family. Because everything about the way that they do and be and create everything that they offer is pure food in form. Remember, food form impacts bodily form. Everything that Purium offers in their superfoods 
are phytonutrient rich in pure vibrant form. And if you think of the word phytonutrient, it means a lot of light in the nutrition, right? It's like eating a prism. It takes the concept of eating a rainbow to a whole new level. And it's what I actually really like to call it's created from source to seed to sun to harvest. So from conception to birth, everything about what is grown is honored as sacred, which again is a direct reflection back to your child's relationship what they have with their own body, that is a meaningful part of their human existence and it's something to be honored as sacred. Everything that Purium <clears throat> offers in their foods is organic. It's not genetically modified. It's grown in regenerative mineral rich soil. There are no chemicals of any kind. And that's important because we want to be creating a fertile ground within your child's health and well being, not just for all the processes that go on inside the body, but because the fertile ground for their consciousness to connect with their body so that all levels of health are online. Everything's gently dehydrated at solar temps, it keeps its vitality. And guess what? Packaging is plastic free and compostable. So it's really living in alignment with supporting the earth's health and her natural blueprint as well. So I just want to highlight three superfoods that are great places to start for families that are really curious about how do I support my child's body awareness and nutrition at the same time? Where do those things intersect? So I'm gonna be going through each one of these individually, but right here on the screen that you can see on the left is the Epigenius Kids. The one in the middle is the fruit and veggie pack. And the one on the left is called the Daily Core Four. So the Epigenius Kids um, is one of my personal favorites. I like to say that it's about turning the light on. And it got its name um, through the word epigenetics, meaning you know the, the things that we can take into our body and the things that are happening in our environment have the ability to turn on certain aspects of our DNA and our genes. So when we're giving children food that's in its whole form, it has that ability to turn on radiant health within their system. So the really amazing thing about the Epigenius Kids is it nourishes the brain, belly, and body. So nothing's getting left out here. And it's a light chocolate flavor if you're curious about what it tastes like. And it's filled with high protein, whole food blend, and it's got organic fruits and super veggies in it. The fruit and veggie pack is about getting all of your fruits and vegetables and digestive and immune support in one spot. The green spectrum has the sea plants, your juice, field grasses, and garden vegetables. So it's eating a rainbow. And same thing with the biofruit, nutrient dense organic fruits and berries. And the Isla Digest is really great for um, digestive support. Um, and it's based in organic coconut water with aloe and ginger root. And it has all those digestive enzymes that um, help a lot of children if they have had a lot of food allergies or other allergens in their systems as well. So this is, again, a really great place to, to start. So the core four includes you nurturers, includes you moms and dads and caregivers and other people that are in children's lives. It's important that you're nourishing your body as much as you want to support your child in nourishing theirs. And children can also enjoy 
um, the, the goodness that is in here as well. And this core four is great for supporting your overall energy levels, your digestion and gut health, deep sleep and mood. It's vegan protein, greens, healthy fats, and organic superfoods all in one amazing, deliverable, ingestible, radiant form of health. So the Biomedic, um, as Stephanie was talking about at the very beginning of our call here today, the Biomedic is absolutely incredible for detoxing out glyphosate and then other interesting things that the gut likes to hold on to. The super aminos are really great for kids and they can chew them. And we'll be going into textures and tastes and temperatures here in a moment, but they're really crunchy and they're great nervous system support. They're not only great for building muscle, but for a lot of kids, they like to have support with neural pathways and making sense of the information that's happening in the body of the sensation that they're happening. And so super aminos can be really great for that. Power shakes like having six salads. It's pretty hard to have a child wanna eat six salads, right? Or even as an adult. So that can be really wonderful nutrition as well. And the apothecary gives beautiful support for, um, for regulating sleep cycles and any inflammation that's happening in the body and you know, other beautiful things. So we're gonna talk about the mouth for a moment here because there's something quite magical and mysterious that happens when body awareness and nutrition meet, guess where they meet? Yeah, they meet in the mouth, meaning a child's lips, are the portal. <laughs> They're the sacred, sacred gateway. They get to say what goes in my body and what doesn't. And it's important to talk about the mouth because it is a part of body awareness and it is where we take in nutrition. And the reason I wanna highlight a few things about the mouth and about taste and temperature and texture and how it lands in our nervous system, how it impacts our nervous system is because the way that superfoods from Purium are designed are to be very nutrient dense, flavor filled, which gives great sensation to the mouth and to the body, not only about nutrition, but about where is my body? How am I feeling in it? because that's the natural design of our nervous system and our body is to register sensation through the food that we put in our mouth. So the mouth is the primary center of organization for the entire body. So think about babies when they're first born. Most babies know how to suck and swallow and breathe. Think about when a child is really upset, they may want to suck on their thumb for comfort, or maybe they have a pacifier, or maybe they, if they're a baby or a young toddler, maybe they wanna be comforted by being on the breast. That's because the mouth has this incredible soothing property to it. So it can really soothe and calm emotional states. And it can be why sometimes children will automatically want to chew on something in their mouth, like a pencil or a pen cap or gum or something that just keeps the mouth moving or even the collar of their shirt. They're just simply trying to bring soothing and regulation to their nervous system. And the mouth is simply one way that that happens. The other interesting thing about our mouth is that it helps coordinate muscles for movement. So if you have ever seen up close pictures of the basketball player, Michael Jordan, when he is dunking that basketball into the net, he most often has his tongue sticking out of his mouth, right? 
like uh, to the side or a track star, a track or any kind of athlete. If there are jumping hurdles, the tongue might be sticking out of the mouth. Or have you ever seen a child using scissors and as they're cutting something, their mouth is moving. Maybe their tongue is moving all over the place. The mouth refines our movement of all of the muscles in our body. So it's a really incredible place for organizing our entire nervous system. So we're gonna explore taste and texture and temperatures. So certain flavors and textures create sensations in the mouth that actually support your child's nervous system. And it does that by waking it up and alerting it and providing calming, soothing, grounding energy. And it's amazing because mother nature knows exactly how to nurture us through taste, temperature, and texture. So our mouth is um, a way that we can connect to nature and it's a way that we can connect to our bodies. So certain tastes, sour. So think lemon. Think um, if you were a kid, if you ever had the candy sour patch kids and how it makes your face kind of go, mm, you know, and your lips, your face wants to kind of make that fish pucker face. That's sour. And think about how alerting that is to the nervous system. It wakes you up and it has the ability to even like change your body posture. The um, sensation and taste of sweet tends to be more soothing, comforting, satisfying. So you can think of things like fruit. The taste of salty is more on the comforting side. It can fulfill a craving and it can in some depending on what forms it's delivered in, um, bring healing to certain places of the body as well for um, certain minerals and electrolytes. And then we have bitter. And bitter is an interesting one. So it can be very alerting, but it can also be very alarming and let us know that what we're putting in our mouth may not be so great, right? It tends to be more on the bold and intense side of things. And then we have savory. And that can be more on the soothing and comforting side of things. Um, it can be very grounding or depending upon what spices or flavors are used in the food, it can be very alerting as well. So temperatures. Cold tends to be more alerting. Think popsicle. And then think popsicle that's really sour, like lemon ginger flavor or something like that. Tends to be more alerting and it wakes up the nervous system. Think of a cold shower. It wakes you up really fast, right? Then we have warm and hot. So think of your most dreamy cup of tea. Or for you, maybe it's... Um, a, a delicious um, cup of coffee, comforting, soothing, relaxing. Then we have the textures of crunchy and chewy. So crunchy is, think of a carrot stick, think of cracker, anything that gives that crunch and that instant sensation of something being in your mouth that tends to be alerting and that perks you up as well. And then we have chewy. So think fruit leather, granola bar, nut butters, things that stick to the teeth and stick to the roof of your mouth. They are great for um, having the mouth work harder to chew. And sometimes our mouth wants to work harder to chew because it's actually giving what we call deep pressure sensation to the back of our teeth and our entire mouth, which then sends a message to our brain about where our mouth and our body is in relation to other people. So it can be very satisfying. So you might actually recognize certain 
flavor profiles and temperatures and textures that you actually crave. And so sometimes when children are craving a certain flavor, temperature, taste, texture, flavor profile, it doesn't always necessarily mean that there is an emotional connection to wanting to soothe something in their body or that there is um, a, a craving for something that's not body friendly. It can literally just be giving the communication and message that, hey, my nervous system's just being a little bit more support right now. Can you please give me this? So, That's why I want to highlight three different superfood recipes that are all found on the millionmommovement.info website. So all the details about what's in it are easily found on there. And I wanted to highlight the ones that were already on the website because they're easy to access, they're relatively simple, and they use the Purium superfoods. Perium superfoods are great for these recipes, not only because it's providing that nutrient dense, rich opportunity for your child's body, and not only because it's great for their sensation of body awareness, but because most of the flavor profiles of the Perium superfood products are very flavor dense and vibrant, which the mouth tends to really love because the nervous system loves it. So the first superfood recipe that I wanna highlight here is the Epigenius Avocado Mousse. So the products that we talked about, the superfoods, they're gonna be in these um, recipes. So the Epigenius Avocado Mousse has, of course, the Epigenius Kids powder in it. It has the coconut cream and it has avocado in it. If it's been in the fridge, it will have the temperature of cold. It's sweet. It has a thick and creamy texture. You can even add in nut butter to make it even that much stickier and thick and get it sticking on the roof of the mouth and on the, in the sides between the gums and the cheeks so that the tongue is having to work pretty hard to get it in and around the mouth and down the throat which is great, again, for helping children understand, ah, oh, here's my tongue, here's my mouth. What I'm putting in my mouth tastes really fabulous. And I'm allowing this to pass through this amazing place in my body. You can also mix in dried fruit or nuts for a chewy, crunchy texture as well. So the next one that's highlighted is um, the bio fruit berry sorbet. Now that's the pink one that you see in the picture. And there are other two that are on there, but I'm just highlighting the one that has the bio fruit in it because the bio fruits in the fruit and veggie pack. So the temperature is cold and it's more on the frozen side, right? So it's going to have form and like a hardness to it. You can make it to where it's kind of that sweet tart flavor. You can even add in the apothecary and add a little bit more of a punch and kind of make it borderline sour if you want. And it has that crunchy-ish texture because it's like kind of ice crystal-y. Or you can simply leave the recipe kind of more in the liquid phase and make popsicles out of it. And putting the popsicle in your child's mouth instead of like eating it with a spoon, activates different um, sensory input for the entire mouth that is helping them register body awareness and sensation. And then we have the superfood uh, crunch bars. And so this one could be more on the savory-ish salty side. And you have the option, you can see in the picture, you can do the chocolate shell coating around it if you want. And if you don't, then you don't have to. So this one has chia seeds, hemp seeds, flower seeds, brown rice crisps, and it features the green spectrum from the 
fruit and veggie pack. So texture is crunchy. So crunchy is alerting, it's satisfying. It kind of perks up the nervous system. It's slightly chewy. It can be salty if you wanna add a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt in there. And it's probably really satisfying to really have that in the mouth and to have something that actually really tastes good with that flavor profile. If you think your children may not be interested in that, you can also um, try organic non-GMO popcorn with the appleberry power shake sprinkled on top of it, mixed in with the coconut oil. And so one of our council members, Jody, has talked about this a lot. Um, and kids seem to really, really love that as well. And again, it's satisfying that crunch. And so I also wanted to highlight what I call a food fun activity. And this is a way to just simply use the power shake that's in the daily core four. So you're using the full serving of the power shake and you can add avocado or coconut milk, a fruit of your choice. You wanna add a little bit of water if you're using the avocado and you're gonna blend it until it's a really thick consistency, almost like yogurt or pudding. And then you're gonna slurp it through a straw. And this is where it can get really fun. Um, I like to use bamboo straws and they come in all different shapes, um, um, all different sizes and thickness. When you suck something through a straw, it actually coordinates the eye muscles for reading and writing. So the next time you're blending up your power shake or making something for your child and you make it just a little bit thicker, Literally try putting a straw in there. And when you're sucking it through the straw, notice what you feel in your eyes and in the entire rest of your body. It's pretty incredible. So play with that and have fun and just see what happens. And then the last thing I want to share about anything that has to do with the foods and the recipes and the activities that are shared here is to keep it light and fun, to allow your creativity to flourish and include your children in the creation of, of making some of these recipes because it's really teaching them. It's a great teaching opportunity. And definitely respect your child's preferences honor their mouth and body as sacred. If they don't like something, they just don't like it. And you can even explore questions and open up conversations with your children about their body, such as, what do you notice when you eat that? What do you notice in your mouth? What does it feel like? Or how does your body feel? Again, you're just creating and bringing back attention and loving awareness to the body and how it's feeling. You can even name food creations and bless them because you're eating that energetic imprint. So things like power pops or love sickles, if you're making popsicles, I mean, you can get really creative with this. And again, that imprints, that consciousness imprints into your child's cells and entire being. So if you're curious about when some of these flavor profiles are great to introduce to your children, or for yourself, it can be great for enjoying first thing in the morning or before anything that actually requires any type of focus and movement. Okay, so. I'm just so grateful to have be able to share this topic with you. And again, food form impacts bodily form. You and your children are light in a body. So eat a reflection of that. I really did my best to try to leave some space for questions. So 
We have a little bit of time, Alison. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was such an amazing presentation. Oh my gosh. So much love in the chat for you the entire time. <laughs> so eye opening uh, and so affirming, I think, for so many of us who have littles in our lives. I, uh, I did offer the opportunity for folks who have questions to raise their hand. We maybe have time for one or two questions only. So if you would like to ask Allison a question or you have a comment, please raise your hand by going to the little reactions icon in the bottom right hand side and raising your hand and then we can unmute you. Norma. Hi, Norma. Hi, good morning. Hi. Hi. Um, I would like to ask, um, at what age um, is it okay for children to be able to take uh, biomedic and the uh, aminos, super aminos? Mm -hmm. That is a really great question. Um, I'm going to defer to my uh, my counsel for the answer on that. One of you would like to come off mute. Okay, so for biomedic, around two years old, two and a half years old, that's what I would recommend. And for the aminos, I mean, any age. They could be babies. You just crush it up, crush it up and you can give it to them. Mm -hmm. And I do know that um, Dave Sandoval gave the power shake to Cornelia at six months. Mm -hmm. So you can start early, you know, with the power shake. Um, thank you for your question, Norma. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have a question? You want to raise your hand? Tammy, welcome. Thank you. I can't um, come off camera, but um, I, I want to thank you, Allison, for what you said today. Um, it's very, in the United States, we need more of this education. I've lived outside of the country and from a very early age, people are educated about food, but in the United States, we need to hear more about it. I'm curious if you have, um, are on social media. There's a number of us that would like to connect. I'm actually not. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thought maybe this is a spirit nudge saying, hey, get back on social media. So um, yeah. I am on Telegram. I do have to say that. Okay. I live on Maui too. That's why I'm asking. So oh beautiful. Yeah. It would be lovely to connect with you. Yeah. And so Tell it looks like there's a lot of things in the chat and I, I can't see any of them. Um, so I don't know how to even respond or answer to them. So, you know, maybe there's a way to see the, the call blueprint of the recording of the chat. And then I might be able to look at it or, or something like that. I'm not really sure, but. Uh, I think there is a way to save the chat. If one of the council knows how to do that, I'm not actually seeing that for myself. Um, if one of you could do that and we can get that to Allison. Uh, for those of you who are interested in connecting with Allison, just reach out to me and I will put you in touch with her. And you all know how to find me. I'm sacred.woman on Instagram and Stephanie Dawn on Facebook. All right, so it's the top of the hour and I just wanna give so much thanks and so much love to you, Allison, for your time and your care and your beautiful presentation. Really, I think you just, you know, you elevated <laughs> the, what we have here with the Purium Superfoods for all of us in such a beautiful and heartfelt way. And, you know, I'm just deeply grateful and I'm sending you so much mm -hmm. aloha and mahalo for your time and your light, my dear. And uh, going forward, everyone, um, next Friday is a special event. We are saying goodbye to Jody Parker. And so we are gonna be celebrating Jody next week on Fierce Friday. And um, for those of you who would like to be part of that celebration, please reach out to me. It, this is an incredibly bittersweet um, goodbye for us. Jodi has been with us for a very long time. We all love her very, very much. And she is 
moving on to greener pastures. So please join us next Friday as we celebrate Jody Parker. All right. So much love to you all. Have a beautiful weekend. If you're inspired by what you heard today, go out and share it on the social networks. You know what to do. All right. Raise your voice. Bye-bye.